I'm playing through New World and I'm not allowed to trade or use the trading post. On top of it, I've added the challenge of keeping myself PvP flagged 100% of the time. It's been a long journey, I've been having fun the entire time, and finally my build is feeling up to par with some of these guys in their endgame stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy episode 8 of the PvP Only Iron Man. Well, I'm here in Brimstone with my friend Vex. We're doing the chest runs here. Really nice for the potential bumps that I can get, as well as the nice loot and just the things I need for crafting. A lot of goodies coming from these chests, so a really good activity, I think, for me to do. And uh, we come up to this boss here, and there are two enemy flag players, but they seem to be playing friendly. And I don't notice him run right up to me. He hits me with this stun, puts a lot of damage in with the heavy attack. I'm just able to escape, quickly heal up, and Vex already jump into my rescue. I went to target the healer right away, but man, this guy is squirrely. He keeps running away. Oh no, Vex went down. Now I'm all by myself. This bruiser is probably going to be impossible to kill unless I can get to the healer first. I guess on the plus side, the healer isn't doing a lot of damage, so it's not too hard to tank these guys for sure. Finally managed to get a little bit of damage into the healer. Vex has come back. He hits him with a huge combo. Down he goes. Now it's just the bruiser left. Wow, I just got trolled so hard by that mob. He basically just freed that guy from the stun so he could kill me. One golden scarab. A vengeful fisherman's hood. Ah, uh, interesting. I'm not doing any fishing right now, but I'll take it. So I guess we're just chilling here now, trying to kill the bosses and stuff. And a whole bunch more green players show up. The guys that we just killed, they actually came back, but they unflagged. So this is a different group of green players. And I just see them. I'm in a very bad spot when they initially find me. And yeah, that, that didn't go well. Let's try again. You know I'm not giving up that easy. I come back for some more. And yeah, me and Vex are going to do everything we can to try to get a few kills here. I managed to catch this guy by himself and he's body blocked in the corner. One down. Absolutely amazing. And it looks like Vex died too, so uh, I'm all by myself again. I'm just out of range of the riposte on that healer. I managed to get some decent damage, but he throws his heal down. Oh, here come the two greatsword players. Oh my god, that root is so strong. Run, Forrest, run! Let's try again. I refuse to give up until I kill at least a few of them. Okay, some scummy kills, but I'll take it. And the last guy I was able to hunt down and finish off. But we're not winning this fight up front anytime soon, so I guess it's time to get out of here. I've been making sure to loot my daily Christmas trees because these tokens can actually buy my best in slot food right now. In order to make any good food, I have to unlock a recipe for them. And the food that you buy from the winter vendor gives you 33 in a stat, so it's actually in between tier 4 and tier 5 food. 
So yeah, gonna stock up a lot of tokens for those and possibly some of these golden items. Back on that skilling grind, right now the goal is 150 arcana so I can actually make myself some proper potions. I actually need 152 to make the regens but uh, yeah, just out here grinding some bull rush and I see this guy here. I didn't attack him initially but then he started checking the trees like a bot, quickly put him down. And guess who came back? Round three, and it looks like the guy who's running the bot turned PvP off on it. That's too bad. Okay, now onto the herb grinding. I need quite a few heists up in order to get to 150 arcana. Brimstone Sands has a ton of herbs that spawn right outside the city, so this is a great place to be. On top of it, if I don't have potions and I need to farm herbs for potions, I can get to safety pretty easily here, so yeah, nice spot for me. 200 harvesting. For my gypsums, I'm just going to grind up my two primary weapons and the jewelry first. Managed to get myself a pretty decent amulet from the gypsum, so yeah, not the perks I want right now, but a good item nonetheless. There we go, champion's amulet, such a nice drop. These are the perks that I actually want right now, so yeah, this is basically my best in slot purple. And 600 hatchet expertise, very nice, let's upgrade natural order. And this actually opens up farming some new hatchets for me. Well, here I am at Smoothbore Samuel again farming the bosses. He drops a hatchet called Balconeer's Bounty. It has Vorpal and Empowered Rending Throw, which is basically the best throwing axe I think I can get at this moment. He is dropping some random gold stuff too. These items aren't a crazy huge deal, but they might actually allow me to craft some pretty useful weapons for myself, so not too upset about that. Hey, look at that! Five kills, and I get the hatchet. How many hours have I tried to farm hatchets on this game? Very happy that this one came so easily. Let's upgrade it to gold right away, and I think this is my new weapon of choice. Since Rapier is at 599 expertise right now, I'm actually going to go out and farm the Rapier that I'm going to use at 600. It's called Revenge of the Scorned. It has Keen Vicious, Sundering Riposte, and it's dropped by a scorpion named Kensit Sothis in Brimstone Sands. Hopefully I get lucky on this one too, but yeah, not starting out so great. Five hours later. There we go, finally I got the rapier. I think I got two of all the other drops that the two bosses in this area drop, so a little unlucky, but at least I have it. Quickly back in town to hit that 600 expertise on Rapier, and let's upgrade this guy to gold. Okay, now I need to go try this thing out in PvP. Well, so far I'm really noticing the difference with these 600 weapons. They hit quite a bit harder, and having the good perks is a really big deal. Uh, a nice couple pokes on that guy to finish him off. I guess I just feel a lot more threatening damage-wise than I used to. So yeah, that's a very nice change. I push towards these guys. Try to get on top of him. I do manage to get a beautiful riposte. Go into the heavy. Oh my god. That was that was like 5k damage on that heavy attack. That whole combo was so massive. This rapier is so much better than my old one. I decided to sit at this boss and just kind of camp it in between my OPR games. He drops a pretty decent ring for me, but I did find out that there is a much better option. That is my second piece of refining gear and my second piece of tanning gear. Very nice. Look at this trolley PvP reward track. All potion packs. I want these packs because long term this is going to be access to some really good crafted gear for me. I guess I'll just pick the Tonic of Judah for the penetrating backstab. At some point I picked up this tier 5 recipe. I'm pretty happy that I got a T5 one but the fish that this requires is not something that I am going to be able to get. So not really useful for me. Did I mention I love this new rapier? Another champion's amulet. I'm not going to complain. It's a little bit of an upgrade. So I missed the clip, but I did finally hit 150 arcana. I can now make myself T5 potions. That's pretty sweet. I'll give you guys a quick peek at the build. Here is a quick breakdown of the attributes. Again, I'm just going to be stacking stamina from this point on. And of course, a look at the hatchet tree. Uh, and the rapier trees. I haven't made any changes to them since the last episode either. And a quick rundown of the gear that I have at the moment. I definitely want to make a few upgrades, but 
yeah, slowly coming along and looking a little better. Very happy about those 600 plus weapons. Definitely making a big difference in PvP. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you want to catch me live on Twitch, there's a link down below. Check out my website, pvpnewworld.com, for written guides to my builds. And if you have an awesome clip that you want to see in a New World Top 5 episode, send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. This show is sponsored by ExpressVPN, and you guys can get a deal with them from the link down below. And of course, a thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon for supporting the show. Thank you guys so much just for tuning in and watching. I hope you're looking forward to more in the future. Have a good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time.